So dreams. I don't mind them. Sure, my horrible sleep schedule makes it hard to have any, but the ones I do have are really weird. Like the one where I learned to skydive in the ocean with Lightning McQueen and a rainbow chicken. What's even weirder, though, is that a human can have, on average, three to seven dreams a night, but will only remember one because I have small brain. So I could have had a dream where I gain all the knowledge of the universe, but my brain can forget it and make me remember the dream of watching two scorpions tango dance at a Starbucks. Real talk now, this video is just an excuse for me to share a really weird dream I had a little while ago that makes no sense and confuses me as to how this occurred. So here we go. The dream starts with me waking up. Shocking, I know in an orange-shirted, living bow-tie-wearing man's house. Or in other words, I just gained consciousness in Xenar's living room for absolutely no reason. Hey there, buddy, chum, pal, friend, buddy, pal, chum, bud, friend, fella, brother, amigo, pal, buddy, friend, chummy, chum, chum, pal. And I seem completely unsurprised with that introduction. Like, yeah, this is totally normal. Okay, so we go about the day and do average things. We draw a bunch of things, but his art's always better than mine. I kick his butt in Super Smash Bros. Like what I would do with my friend Joel, but I don't have a Nintendo Switch online anymore, so I can't prove it. I know you're watching this, Joel. I'll destroy you as my me character. But then there's this one part of the dream where we go to McDonald's and order some chicken nuggets. Or just sit in his car eating our food when he asks out of the blue. Hey, do you want to drive to Texas for absolutely no logical reason whatsoever? And in real life, this is where I would say no, because that's on the other side of the country for me. But Dream Boston doesn't have that logic, I guess. So I respond with, sure, I got time. But we have to make it quick. My parents don't know where I am. Xenos rejoices over my response. And he whips out his phone and calls Bob Ross to drive us. Hey, Bob. Can you drive me and Boston to Texas, please? Happy trees. So we just walk to the house of Bob Ross in about five seconds, get in his car, and start driving to Texas. So after awkward silence for about an hour while we were driving, I start to get worried about what my parents are thinking, because again, they apparently don't know where I was. So I decided to check the time to see if I need to get home, and oh, it's 3 a.m. Hey guys, I'm gonna go. Just for you. So I jumped out of the car, rolled home like Sonic the Hedgehog style, and woke up. So now, if any of you are wondering, should I take something away from this video? No. No, my brain is my brain is very weird and dumb. Alright, see you guys later. I need to get to bed because I haven't slept for a whole month or two of animating this. And tip for you if you can't sleep. Use a frying pan and knock yourself out.